Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Thursday, May 17th, 2018. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We're currently holding at highs right now after the recent rally over the last couple of weeks, but we have not really been able to find any acceptance beyond the March 21st FOMC key level 2731 that area com continues to be offered we do have some higher lows going into that zone you can see price pushing above it pulling back struggling uh, to to find acceptance above the previous month's high and is just holding uh, in terms of a bullish case here we, we do see a very bullish rising eight period average price continues to hold near highs and, and is holding in a five day range here that is pretty narrow so overall, this thing continues to hold up here. It's building energy. Again, when you're sitting around that 2703.75 key level, it, it's uh, it's a major pivot that um, that can continue to see a lot of price action around that zone until we see a move away from it. So right now, if there's any failure to hold 2703.75, that might open up the downside between 2600 and 2620. Being able to hold above that zone overall suggests that we could continue to push toward the next edge 2800 that continues to be the framework we use but right now you gotta uh, exert a little bit of caution here given how both volatility is dropping and also we're at the center of the larger range you can see here this is a one day look back here and you can see how volatility has clearly dropped over the last several months over here the average daily range being much much higher 66 points per day 66 points per day and now 26 points per day is the current average. Uh, if you're looking at a five period average, we're at 24 points. So very, very modest ranges here as these things continue to shrink as we head into uh, summertime trading. Here's a look at the NQ. You can see the NQ has similar behavior as well. Uh, volatility has clearly dropped. We were trading an average of about 207 points per day, 220 points per day. Uh, on a 10-day basis, right now the the current 10-day range is 94 points. On a five-period basis, it's 78. So we've clearly dropped in terms of volatility, and that is usually the case as we head into the latter part of May and into the summer. Right now, we're still holding at these highs. We are forming a narrow five-day range, but continue to hold um, within the bullish structure of the short-term trend. So. Again, if price can continue to hold 68.50, we could look to um, push the edge up here and see if we can find these new highs. But even if we do, it could be a fade opportunity right back down. Any failure to hold 68.50 opens up a return to 66.53 and perhaps even as low as 6,600. Here's a look at crude oil. Crude oil has pushed through that major LVN at 72 trying to hold beyond it right now you can see we have a very narrow range that has played out over the last five six days if we bring this back up and, and calculate a five day range you can see over the last five days very very narrow you can see right here on the uh, the lower histogram that this is uh, fuchsia colored or pink that tells you that the compression is significant compared to average and that is usually indicative of um, compression ahead of expansion and right now we continue to see a trending market to the upside I mentioned before I wouldn't be eager to sell this uh, on a swing basis at all it's too bullish right now and all pullbacks are still buying opportunities there are some intraday opportunities where uh, you could sell but for the most part this is a trending up market pullbacks to be defended uh, any pullback inside the eight period average would be uh, a big time buying opportunity and we're looking for this thing to continue to climb towards 74.52 that's the next major upside target that we're we're focusing on so right now all signs still point to the upside if by chance we finish the day well below 72's after testing it today that could be a short term rejection that leads to a pullback that could be viable down the road but right now still trending up still showing strength looking at gold right now You'll also notice that we had the transition day uh, a couple of sessions ago where price broke through 1306.60, and closed below 1280, uh, rather 1290. That's a big time uh, expansion day. 
a breakdown through the tight range here, and that opens up more downside, perhaps into 1252 and 1240. So we're looking for more weakness out of this one ahead. Right now we have two resting days here. I would say with these two resting days, it provides a great opportunity for price to pull back above those highs, say Friday, maybe even Sunday or Monday. And if there's any failure of prices above 1300, that could be a great entry to get in higher ahead of a push downward. So right now, very narrow day, rest after battle here, and we could be looking at more downside overall as long as price continues to hold below 1306.60. And lastly, taking a look here at Bitcoin, what you'll notice here is that price failed to hold above 8500. We had our rejection day here. You can see the, the gold dot right at the center of that range. That is the midpoint. And the next day when price failed to hold above the high and push through and close below the midpoint, that's an indication that you're going to take out the low nine times out of ten. So the midpoint on a rejection day is always the most important point of, the, uh, of that session. And if you close beyond it or push through it, it's an indication that that rejection day is failing and that suggests more downside. You can see right now price closed well below that low and then today holding 8500 from below as resistance that could open up much more weakness right now Bitcoin just not doing it not getting it done and that could open up at least more weakness into 7500 for a next key test one quick update there will be no pre-market report tomorrow morning as I will be out of town so this will be the final pre-market report for the rest of the week have a fantastic weekend and I will see you all next week take care and trade well